All right, guys, let's get into it. This is going to be pretty fun. This is a cool watch. I think a lot of people agree. I know there's some haters out there, but it's still a cool watch regardless. So this is, of course, the Christopher Ward Sapphire. I think that's basically what everyone's calling it. Um, I'm not sure if they'll do any other variations of it or anything like that, but, uh, you know, it's blue 40 millimeter. Actually, let's just talk about the size real quick, and then we can get into some of the other things, like how they launched it, the price, all that good stuff. So it is a 40 millimeter case. I sold my 42, so I don't have that to compare, but it is a 40, and it looks and wears a little bit smaller than a 40, I think. Uh, but definitely a 40. 47.3 millimeter lug to lug, as you can see, the light catcher case has a lot going on with the case design, the brushing and the finishing and all the different angles and everything. Uh, but whether you get the 38, the 40 or the 42 millimeter are all going to have basically the same design case, just in different dimensions. And uh, they're, they're all just great looking. So you're going to find one that's going to work for whatever wrist size you have. So again, 47.3, that's not including the uh, fixed center links on the solid end links of the bracelet, but 13 and a half millimeter thick, sapphire on the back, sapphire on the top, it's flat. 20 millimeter lug width bracelet tapers down nicely to an 18 millimeter, and the Christopher Ward bracelet and clasp are just phenomenal. Uh, I'm a huge fan of what they've done. The profile of it is really nice. The buttons are kind of softened and easy to, nice to use. Um, even the way they go in, instead of it being a single post, you have the dual post on the bracelet side, and that kind of minimizes some of the rocking that you might get with a center post. Uh, it's probably not a big deal to like 99.9% .9 of the people. You also have on the fly, no tool needed adjustment. It's a little tricky for some people because you actually have to have like a little bit of a fingernail and get in there. And there's some tension on that thing, like to pull it down to release it. There's a little bit of tension on that guy. But uh, once you do that, it operates smooth and it, it just works. And it you can push it back in on its own. So um, you don't have to operate it to retract it just to extend it. So um, there's that. And then it also has the quick release pins here for the bracelet to the case head. And I've demonstrated that in the in videos in the past before. It's actually very easy to use. Again, helps if you have a little bit of fing fingernail strength or something. So screw down crown signed with the Christopher Ward flag motif there. And it is a 600 meter water depth rating watch, which is pretty impressive considering you have uh, display back and, um, well, display back is the main thing. So specs on this guy using the Salita SW200 movement. Every war that I've had on the channel has performed very well. So there's not going to be any issue there with the movement. And um, the loom is killer. I'll do a loom shot at the end. They're using, the formula they're using is called X1 GL C1. But it almost to me seems like it's a little bit of maybe a refined C3 X1 or basically C3 X1. I don't know how they determine all the different variations of the loom or if it's just a little bit of a pigment change versus the C3X1 versus the X1 GLC1 or if it's, you know, just something they changed very small so that it's proprietary to just them. That could be the case. So you can see, let's zoom in and we'll get a closer look at the dial, the handset, all that good stuff. Try to get some debris out of your way. So... You can see there it has a blue hue to it. Now the way they have achieved that is, first of all, they used a 0.6 millimeter thick sapphire dial. So that's crazy thin. I'm sure the success rate on producing those, I'm sure they have some losses on that. So that probably adds cost. Now to get the blue hue to it, I've had already people comment and ask and everything like that. They blatantly say it right on their website. I don't know why everyone's freaking out about it or like, or you know, making it something that it isn't. To get that color, they use blue polycarbonate. So they use a thin panel of blue transparent color film, and that goes on that, and it also is going to go on the back side. So um, that's how they get the color. And the one on the back here is actually really dark. It's, it's almost darker on the outsides, you know, more so than the center, but it's... Um, 
in my opinion, maybe too dark. Um, if that's a thing, like I think it could have been lightened up a little bit. I get the color being, you know, the, the tone or the darkness that it is on the top side. It gives you just enough a reveal that you can see that there is mechanical movements going on there and you can see the date wheel. But if you were to lighten it up too much, I think um, then you just have too much of that visible and it pulls away from the rest of it, such as the excellent handset, the um, excellent applied indices and the printing and everything like that. So you don't want to take away from that. Now they also went with a steel bezel on this guy and it doesn't appear, I can't tell, it might be a bezel insert, it's hard to tell. But it's, regardless, it's actually channeled out so you can see they milled out and I've already seen people uh, comment about the sharpness of the little tabs at the uh, markers. So you can feel those, but I don't know why you're running your finger across those. I guess that's not a normal activity that most people, most of us do. But you can see then that's filled in from the 0 to the 15 with a dark blue substance. It's some sort of finished off loom, because when I do the loom shot at the end, you'll see that it is loomed up pretty nice. So very, very cool stuff. I'm very impressed with the watch overall. This is the tag that is on here. It just has Christopher Ward and 6060, and that's basically their um, return policy and warranty. I think it's like 60 days free return, 60 months uh, warranty, something like that. So pretty good program. The box that it comes in, I'm, I'm digging what Christopher Ward has done. It appears to be like, I'm assuming that's real bamboo. I haven't dissected it. But it, it slides out really nice with this packaging, and it's packaged in there um, well. So it's it's a very nice job on the packaging. And then this will be sitting on top. It has a little tab here. You pop this up, and it lifts everything out, and then it exposes the watch. But the other thing that's really cool is um, each manual is, you know, for each model instead of it just being a generic manual on it. So this is the C60 Sapphire. It is just for this watch. So it gives you a breakdown of what's going on. It tells you how to, um, you know, use it and operate it and all that good stuff. So there's that. And then there's the uh, warranty information here. Um, oh, they actually labeled it. So I didn't realize that. I didn't even look at that. So they actually signed it to me because I actually did buy this one. All right. So the price on this guy, I just looked on their website, this actual model on bracelet $1,020. Now, if you wait or you're patient or you, you know, sign up for their email and everything like that, you will at some point get a $125 off coupon. This is all USA prices, right? So that's what I used, but the price that I paid was less than $1,020. I ended up landing it at $895, so say $900. Um... So they raised the price to 1,020. You did not go 125 off. Now you got 905. If you buy it without the bracelet, and this is where this is going to be important, but if you buy it without the bracelet and it has the hybrid strap, the price is 920. So it's 100 dollars less. Then you knock the other 125 off. That puts you at 805. You're still over 800. The reason that 800 is significant is. As far as I can tell, any purchase that you do in the United States that is being shipped over, especially like a Christopher Ward, you're going to pay a tax on that or whatever it is. So what happened is, is they shipped it. I think I sent it basically DHL. DHL contacted me once I got to the United States and they said, hey, we're going to send this to you, but you owe us $75. It was like $74.96, essentially $75. So they, they were going to give it, you know, send it to me and everything like that. It looks like everything was going to just keep going, but I didn't want to like have any delays. So I just paid it. So you basically are going to pay another $75 for this. So the real price on it is not $1,020. It's $1,095, you know, or maybe they adjust it as the price goes up. So keep that in mind when you buy this, there's going to be more. When it comes to the States, you're going to end up paying more. So factor that into your deal, even with that coupon of 125, you know, I paid 895, but that wasn't my landed cost. It was, you know, $75 more than that. So and yours will be as well. So keep that in mind. I just wanted to add that bit. So and then it has a 6060 guarantee. Uh, da, 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 free repairs with a warranty, access uh, offers. 
which um, those offers, so once you get established as a customer or in their, at least in their email base, then we'll talk about price, but they'll give you like coupons and stuff like that. The other thing that's actually, once you open this up and inside here is a nice, um, well-made microfiber cloth with their embossed uh, flag motif. So that is also in there. I think some of the other ones I just kind of dismissed. I never even opened it until this one. But before I even got the watch, I started getting these catalogs. So there are um, the catalogs from them. So, and it kind of gives you um, some information. Of course, this is how they rolled out the Sapphire C60 is in this catalog, obviously with all the social media outlets as well. And even to the point they did a television ad, which I don't know if that's money well spent. Uh, I'm not sure the inner workings, maybe some people that are watching my channel have a better knowledge of marketing and um, what their intention is or if they're going to have results or something like that. I, I don't know. I, I just operate in my own little world, which you guys are part of, and I know that many of us are Christopher Ward, per, you know, buyers, but uh, I don't know if someone's watching television is going to buy it. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. 120 click bezel on this. Uh, they nailed their bezel action, guys. There's like no play. I think you have a touch of a, like a half of a thing of set, settle back, uh, but the you know, it's it's nice tactile feel. My 42 was even better than this, and this one is good. Nice size crown. You know, I didn't measure the crown. But I'm guessing it's, if it's not seven, yeah, it's seven. Yeah. So a perfect size crown. Uh, nice pop to it. You know, you know, standard procedure there with the operation of it. Uh, but just a home run of a watch. Any of these C60 Tritons are, like I said, the 42, like the white one I had, I absolutely love that. Or this one, the 40, in any colorway is going to be really good. Or even the um, 38 millimeter one, which um, I should have another one of those in soon for a video. I don't like it. So I didn't size the bracelet, but you can see. Let me get that out of the way. Hold on, hold on. So I will show you a little bit about the bracelet. I'm not going to size this one because I'm not. I'm not keeping this watch. So. But you can see on my seven and a quarter inch wrist that it wears and looks a little bit small. It um, is totally fine. It's totally doable. But I think with the metal bezel, it plays a little bit of an optical illusion and shrinks a little bit on wrist. But if you have, you know, seven and a quarter like my wrist size, certainly on down, easily going to pull this watch off. So um, let's see. Here's the so here's some links from say well from a c65 but they're they're the same kind of situation so the way these work is they have a very large tube that goes in the center of the link and then but they're man i'm telling you guys they're a bugger to get in and out so um and then you uh get the other one lined up and get it in there and there's no arrows, so it doesn't really matter which way it goes, or it shouldn't. Um, but then, so you get that guy in there, and it'll partly go in, but then at that point, you have a couple things you have to do. You have to push that in, so you can slowly press it in, depending on what kind of tools you have, or you can slowly, like, kind of tap it in. Um, but you have to be careful because you have to line up the hole on the other side. So, like, if you have some deflection going on here, then you're gonna be banging or pushing on the pin and potentially just bend it over. You, you wanna be careful and uh, slow down and take your time with it. And it's, it's about as secure connection as you're gonna get. When you do this large tube with this nice pin, it is gonna size up really good and it's gonna be strong. So anyway guys, if you have any questions on this, let me know as soon as you can. Actually, it's probably already too late. I'm going to ship this out. I already sold it. So there's that. Take whatever you want from that. But uh, I do run a watch channel and I flip, you know, flipper for life right there in the background. So don't ask me why. There's the loom. It is killer. It, it Like there's no getting around that. Christopher Ward has the right components. They have the right style and the design. As far as I can tell, the only main gripe that most people have is the brand placement on the dial over at the 9 o'clock. 
it is what it is, guys. I suspect, and I could be wrong, but the same people that are complaining about where the name on the dial is weren't going to buy this watch anyway. So I pretty much just totally dismiss that um, comment when I see it. So great loom, and it's a little bit less on the 0 to 15, but it seems to sustain. So I think it's just the coating they put over it. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next vid.